I'm gonna share eight healthy foods that suck for weight loss because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years and I've learned that there are foods out there that are marketed as healthy but they're actually loaded with calories and can actually cause you to gain weight if you're not careful. So, number one, avocado. Yes, it's a healthy fat, it has health benefits, but just because something's healthy doesn't mean it's low calorie. A large avocado is 320 calories. And the thing is, most people that I see, they don't just eat the avocado, they're adding it to a whole meal. So say you're eating a meal that's like 400 calories and you're adding avocado and you're not measuring and you have no clue how much you're adding, you could be adding hundreds of calories and then wondering why you're not losing weight because you're not tracking how much of the avocado you're eating. So what I like to do instead, I like to get the holy guacamole, the minis, because I love the little mini cups because like they're portion for you and two tablespoons or 30 grams is 40 calories. So listen to this. I get the benefits of the avocado without all the calories. And I love the guacamole for like dipping, dipping <laughs> baby carrots and stuff in because it's a great snack. But again, I get the benefits of the avocado without adding all those extra cows. Number two, non-bread. So a lot of people go, okay, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna use non-bread instead of getting takeout pizza. And they want, you know, they get non-bread and they make a mini pizza for themselves. But one non-bread is 320 calories. And that's without adding your toppings and stuff. That's just the crust, the non-bread. So add your cheese, your sauce, the meat, you're looking at way more calories than you're thinking. Now, Kyle and I, my cute little husband behind the camera, we eat pizza every night. And what we like to use instead is the Dempster's Ancient Grains Tortillas. One of them is 170 calories. And so we make a low-cal pizza, we get the crust, we make a cool pizza, but way less calories than the non-bread, and it's whole grain, so it's got good fiber, it's slow digesting, so you're getting all the best of both worlds, you see. And that's why I'm making this video. Like, I used to weigh 275 pounds. I, would, I was morbidly obese. And I struggled to lose weight for years because I kept falling into the healthy foods for weight loss trap. Yes, healthy foods are good for weight loss. But the problem was... I kept thinking, okay, if I only buy healthy food and only eat that, it will help me lose weight. What I wasn't doing though, was tracking the amount of the healthy food that I was eating. So I'm eating the food and I'm gaining weight and I'm like, what is going on? Then I started looking at the calories of the foods I was eating. <gasps> I was in shock. I was like, oh my gosh. So if you like the healthy food, that's cool. You can eat it. But if you're looking to lose weight, like I was, you still have to eat in a calorie deficit. So you have to measure or track what you're eating so that you're eating the calories that you need to, to lose the weight. Um, what I like to do instead is choose the options that I'm sharing with you in this vid. I like to pick options that are, they have the benefits of the healthy foods, but way less calories. So like the guacamole and the tortillas. So number, number three, milk. One cup of 2% milk is 130 calories. And I don't like drinking my cows because I have a big appetite and liquid does not keep me full. So like if I just drank a glass of milk, I'd be, already 130 calories in and I'd be starving. So what I like to do instead is I love the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And we either get it like from Walmart or Costco. Um, the one I'm showing is Costco. It's one cup is 30 calories. So I'm literally saving 100 calories a cup by doing that. Now on the days that, you know, Kyle and I want 
the benefits of milk with a little more protein will get the fair life zero percent one cup is 80 cows and 14 grams of protein whereas the two percent milk has nine grams of protein so it's cool you're getting the benefits of milk a little more protein less cows okay number four popcorn mostly skinny pop it's literally labeled skinny pop but the thing is I, d I did this I fell for this I saw skinny pop on the shelves I bought it ate it thinking well it's skinny pop it's gotta be good for weight loss right no I didn't read the calories on it six and a half cups is 280 calories that's not a whole lot for the cows and then there's another one that I just found. It's the Orville Redenbacher sea salt popcorn made with avocado oil. 10 cups popped of that one is 330 cows. So like you see the popcorn you're like, oh, it's made with avocado oil. It's gotta be healthy. Cool, I eat this instead of chips, lose some weight. That's a crazy amount of calories. What I buy is the Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop, the 80% less fat you can have 13 cups popped for 240 calories. So way more popcorn and way less calories than the other ones. And it fills me up. And then like, if you want, you can add like the kernel seasoning. That's what Kyle and I like to do for very few cows. And you have like a beautiful tasty bag that'll keep you full and you can still eat a cow def. Cow def, you know what I mean? Cal calorie deficit. <laughs> This is a good one. Number five, nuts and trail mix. My whole life I've heard like, okay, if you're looking to lose weight, you want some healthy snacks, just grab nuts. Nuts are good for you, grab a handful. The problem with nuts is yeah, the nuts and the trail mix, they'll keep you full. They, they're good for you, but if you're grabbing handfuls, they're very calorie dense. And so you, you might be grabbing hundreds of calories and not even realizing it. The, um, the Joe's Tasty Travels, it's like a walnut pieces and halves from Walmart. A third cup is 350 calories. Let's get him a third cup. Yeah. Sure. So that's, that's it. 350 calories for that. That's like, that's like, not a handful. Like my handful would be like a handful. So I'd probably have 500 calories in a handful. Also the trail mix. I love trail mix because I love dried fruit. I love them nuts. And I like the ones that come with like the smarty things. So um, Great Value has like a mountain trail mix. A third cup of that is 270 calories. So it is a little less than the walnuts, which is kind of crazy, but it's still a lot of calories for only a third cup. That's all you get. So what I love to do is get the fruit, nut, and cheese little packets, and Costco has some. They're called cheese, fruit, and nut packs, and you get almonds, two packs, one has almonds, one has cashews, and then one has white cheddar, and, and the other one has like a sharp cheddar. One of them is 180 cows, and the other one is 190, and it's got dried fruit in it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, plus cheese for a bonus, and what I love is their packets. So they're already portioned out, you get the nuts, you get the dried fruit, you get some cheese for extra protein, but it's measured out. So when your pack's done, you've only had 180 or 190 cows, and there's no grabbing handfuls and eating calories you didn't know you were eating. <laughs> Number six, flavored yogurt. Yogurt is healthy, so a lot of people will go, okay, I'm not ready for plain yogurt, I'll go grab flavored yogurt. The problem is it can be really calorie dense. So this Olympic crema vanilla flavor one that I'm showing, it's it says on the side it's 9% milk fat. And I don't think a lot of people look at that. When it has a high milk fat percentage, it's actually higher in calories. So for, for three quarters of a cup of this, 
It's 260 calories and only six grams of protein. Now it's Balkan style, so it's like thick and creamy and stuff, but that's a lot of calories and not a whole lot of protein for vanilla flavored yogurt. So what Kyle and I like to do is buy the plain fat free one, the Greek yogurt style though, and then it's 100 calories for three quarters of a cup, and then we flavor it ourselves. And if you buy Greek yogurt, it's thick and creamy like the Balkan style, but the Greek adds more protein. So it is, <laughs> it's 17 grams of protein and 100 chaos for three quarters of a cup. And then we flavor it ourselves with this. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot to put this on the counter. We flavor uh, the yogurt ourselves with a Tarani sugar-free French vanilla syrup. This is the hack of all hacks. You put this in your Greek, 0% fat Greek yogurt, some fruit, oh, you're off to the races. So now you've got yourself vanilla Greek yogurt. It's thick, it's creamy, it's low cal, and it tastes vanilla-y, and it's got extra protein. What? <laughs> Number seven, power bars or energy bars, whatever you wanna call them. <sighs> these things, they can be loaded with calories, so you really gotta check these, um, especially like Cliff Bars. Like everyone knows what a Cliff Bar is, and the crunchy peanut butter Cliff Bar that we're showing here, it's 260 calories for one little bar. And Kyle and I were joking. You're gonna see in the B-roll, Kyle zoom in on the little man climbing the mountain. That's the only person, a cliff, an actual cliff climber, that should be eating that many calories. In that small of a bar. In yeah. that small of an energy bar. The protein on it is 11 grams. So this is what we do. And we, we did this from the very beginning. We buy protein granola bars. So you still get like a granola style bar with protein, but it's way less calories. So we like the Nature Valley protein ones. And so I wanted to show you one that matches like the flavor. So the Cliff Bar is crunchy peanut butter. Um, the Nature Valley one is peanut, almond, and dark chocolate. It's 180 calories and 11 grams of protein. So it's the same protein as the Cliff Bar, but less calories. Just as tasty. Just as tasty. You can still toss it. It's packaged just like a Cliff Bar in its own little packaging. You can still toss it in your bag, go on the go, traveling, lunch pail, purse, whatever. Same protein, less cows, just as tasty, similar flavor. See that? Yeah, pretty <laughs> smart sometimes. <laughs> Number eight, granola. I fell for this one so hard. Like, who doesn't want to put carbs in their yogurt like and make parfaits? Like, I love yogurt parfaits, but it, granola can be crazy calories. So we looked at a couple of the Harvest Crunch boxes. The first one, the Raisin Almond, one cup is 480 calories. So if you're just measuring out a cup or you're just dumping some in a bowl, it's a lot of calories yeah, for you're, granola. You're grabbing your flavored Greek yogurt, um, not measuring. Like none of these foods are bad. No, We're just saying the... you still got to keep in mind the measuring. Exactly. Because that's when people's brains turn off. When they've been told over and over again that something's healthy, then they go, I don't have to measure. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's, you know, like... We eat all these foods too. It's just that we learned we have to measure them. And most of the time we choose the alternative because it's less calories with the same benefits. Like I was saying, um, yeah, it's great. Yogurt parfaits are amazing, but if you're dumping a lot of granola with flavored yogurt and fruit and you're not measuring, you might have like a thousand calories and you don't even know it. And you're like, what the heck? I'm being healthy and I'm gaining weight. And that's what happened to me and Kyle. That's why we're making this video. Now we measure and we know what we're eating in calories. So the other Harvest Crunch flavor was um, apple crumble and only a third cup was 200 calories. So there are three third cups in one cup. That means like 600 calories if you were gonna have a whole cup of that. So my alternative, strawberry banana Cheerios. Good fiber, whole grain. 
great flavor and it's made with like real fruit puree so it's like pretty good for you 150 calories for a cup so I hope this helps anybody out there that's like eating healthy food struggling because you're not losing weight and you're not sure why that was what happened to sassy and I and now we measure and it's beautiful um, if you want to know, I lost my weight with portion control. If you want to know the exact portions and meals that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. Speaking of more great Greek yogurt flavoring to boost up the protein big time without adding tons of calories. Hot alt, HTLT steps. So literally like the best tasting vanilla protein and the best protein powder ever. But vanilla is so good because you can add it to anything. And yes, if you want to flavor your Greek yogurt for low cows and bump up the protein, this is a beautiful way to do it. Code Nicole saves you 10% and the link is down below for this too. Weight loss does not have to be a punishment. You're allowed to love what you're eating, but you just gotta stay in your portions, cutie. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Watch this vid and this vid for more sustainable fun weight loss tips because Seth and I are real friends in the real world. Loving what we eat, just loving life and just cuting around all day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll catch you in the next one, cutie. Peace out. I just gotta show them your uh, cool <laughs> Halloween. You live, you went and did, you see, it's not even Halloween yet, and but but Christmas. Yeah, no, but it's not even Halloween yet. I'm wearing Halloween pants because Halloween's next week. But um, we found a Christmas tree at Taco, and I need to put it on now. And I'll probably have it for the whole year. I Back think. There, I don't know. Maybe you can't see it, but it's a cute tree. <laughs> oh, look, don't go yet. See my tree? We got this from Costco. Has two settings on it. I'm not sponsored, but I just like this. <laughs> and I'll be having it all year long. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.